Jack Cittarelli. Doug Morgan. Please Doug, good to see you. Be good sure luck, to get out and vote. Republican challenger Jack Cittarelli wooed voters at Clifton's TikTok Diner, a traditional campaign stop for both red and blue candidates. With less than 24 hours before the polls open on Election Day, he's got precious little time left to close an eight-point gap reported in the latest Rutgers-Eagleton poll. Undecided voters think Cittarelli's personable, but... What do you think about him as a governor? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I got to do a little bit more research, honestly. I told him he was a 7.5 out of 10. So maybe when I do a little bit more research on Jack, I'll see how I feel about some of his um, his policies and procedures. Enthusiasm's key to voter turnout. Cittarelli's barnstormed the state, looking to shore up support amongst reliably Republican voters and overcome the massive one million vote margin of registered New Jersey Democrats. Enthusiasm appears uh, to be on the Republican side, uh, and that has certainly helped Jack Cittarelli. The question is whether there's enough of them. Now it's about trying to find the people that you've already identified as your supporters and getting them to the polls. Cittarelli spent Saturday campaigning in deep Red Ocean County and hit diners in Burlington and Atlantic too. Analysts say he can't afford to lose any Republican votes. For someone like Jack, you need to win those Republicans and you really need to win those independents. So you need messages that really can unify both and bring them over to you. Sometimes the issues that motivate the base push away independent voters. We have high unemployment in this state. We have high taxes in this state and having voters focus on that will really help Jack at the end. But his base keeps bringing up those divisive issues like public school sex education teaching gender identity. You know, transvestites and drag queens and homosexuality and stuff that our children really don't need to be hearing at this time. It should be up to the parents. So you don't want any sex education no, in school? No, I would, would like the school to stick with math and science and history. There's so much other stuff that the teachers can teach the kids and leave all the other stuff to us as parents. I think you should talk to parents about the kind of questions their five-year-olds are coming home with because they're not ready for that lesson plan and it's making a lot of parents very uncomfortable. And when the election's over, let's sit down and have a conversation with the experts and with parents. I will tell you, a lot of parents feel like they've been left out as the conversations specific to public school curriculum. Garden State Equality last week condemned Cittarelli's position, stating LGBTQ inclusive curriculum isn't just important, it's essential to the health, well-being, and education of New Jersey students. In a very blue state, it's one of several social issues on which Cittarelli's walked a very fine line as he works to get out the vote. I don't think either side can convince any more voters. That time has passed. What is the focus for both campaigns at this late stage is turnout. What you have now is the crunch time of you know, knocking on doors, making phone calls, dragging people to the polls in order so that they actually vote. That's the focus at this point. I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJ Spotlight News.